What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to some more Dungeon Defenders Eternity. Playing on through my Nightmare series, we are on the Royal Gardens. Let's go ahead and check it out. Royal Gardens is pretty easy. Going to be using uh, Monk, Buff Beams, and Summoner. Imagine that. Next map, however, we're going to bust the old Squire out and get a little... Uh, Bowling ball action in. On the seriously underappreciated Squire. Still possible to do these maps with, um, you know, just about any set of builders once you have uh, your monk and your buff beams in place. And of course, the archer is still in its current state is the most viable for just about any map that doesn't have an ungodly amount of stairs. Now we do have stairs on this map, but they're not too bad, so not that big of a deal. And we're going to start off with, let's see, we'll go with the RS stack right, right here. And then we're going to go with an RS stack on each side as well. I, um, I've been putting them up kind of on the back side of the hedges here. But depending on your range, there's uh, various, various places you can put them. No real uh, specific areas that I'm looking for coverage here. I'm just trying to get him as close into the crystal as I can. And then, of course, I will uh, switch weapons back out to um, improve those ranges just a touch. And let's hop on the EV. Now, we're going to be um, finishing out the first wave with the EV here. And I'm going to go with a buff beam up on top of the hedge, right on this side. Then we're going to go with a 4DU buff beam. Uh, splitting the walkway here. Doesn't really matter your exact placement. Just as long as you get it in that general vicinity. Okay, now after we get the walkway split, we're going to uh, throw down a couple of reflex. I'm just going to do it with this guy because it's not uh, super crucial. And we're going to kind of place these in an odd fashion. We're going to start up here on the ledge and then bring them down just in front of that post. And that's going to give uh, my archers awesome coverage here. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side, but... Need to round up a little mana here first. That one made me go a little bit further. All right. Now, it's debatable whether or not you should put uh, Reflex here. I'm not going to bother for this round and uh, see how it goes. So I'm going to hop right on over to the Summoner now. And I'm going to put four Archers on each of the three buff beams. No real need to squish them together or anything since we're just going with four. And then that's going to leave a nice amount of DU left over to pretty much do what you want. You know, if your archers aren't quite there yet, maybe you need some physical walls, uh, more reflective walls. You know, whatever. 
but 22 left over DU, so there's a, a lot of options there on what you could possibly do. Did I get both sides? Yeah, I did. Alright. Didn't think I got them up on both sides. Now, if you look, the enemy archers are going to be coming up the way really right through the middle here. And you see those reflex are going to give our archers a little bit of coverage so they don't uh, just sit there and get wrecked and wrecked and wrecked. Yeah, it's wave 5 of 8. This is uh, another one of the shorter maps. So, you can pretty much just go through. No need to really upgrade anything. Just keep an eye on your Auras. You know, if you are feeling the need to um, throw around some upgrades, make sure you get uh, get your buff beams first, Auras second, and then the Archers last. The Reflex, there's really no reason at all to upgrade them. Just a couple mobs left. Take a look at this view on this next wave here. See all our auras and everything are looking good. Wave six of eight. Three waves to go now. And like I said, just uh, throw around, sprinkle around a little extra DPS just to help clear the map faster. But for the most part, your archers, archers and auras have got business pretty well handled. Yeah, if your archers were a little weak, see with 22 DU, that would be enough. You could put... Well, you could put four archers along this wall. That would cost 12. You'd have 10 DU left over. You could uh, easily throw a 4 DU buff beam. And then still have six more DU to do something else. So if your archers are a little weak, maybe try four along this wall here as well. But it looks to me like we're pretty much getting it done here. excited for ramparts. I haven't played I haven't played on my squire in probably over a month. And oh, the squire needs some attention. Have has had uh, no baddie killing going on. Just sitting on the bench, not doing much of anything. So uh, I'll be excited to get the squire out for ramparts. Next round up. Oh, and here comes the lag. Excited to see what's going on on the uh, the old Dungeon Defenders website too. Uh, it's been down for the last couple of days, saying that a new community site is coming, and I'm hoping that new community site also brings word of more access into uh, Dungeon Defenders 2. Oh, one can hope. Five baddies left. Looks like they're all over here. That's where the archers are shooting, anyway. Two more. Still right here. There we go. And uh, just the final wave now. Pretty much nothing is. Uh, being even the slightest bit of a threat here uh, with this build. It's pretty sound. And, you know, part of that, of course, is the archers are ridiculous. But my auras are pretty mean now as well. Those stats actually uh, rival, rival my summoner stats pretty well. I really hope they do uh, find a way to address this lag issue, or if there is a way for them to address it. I mean, obviously it's a problem with uh, 
the, the Playverse connection, I would assume. Now, I haven't tried playing locally only because I, you know, I want to play online and be able to play with other people and have that, uh, you know, the one set of characters. I don't want a set of characters that I can't upgrade or, or can't save. But I'm not sure if you play or playing it locally only if there's any lag at all. You wouldn't think there would be. If you've played locally and you know the answer to that one, please, by all means, put it in the comments below. See, the lag's getting really bad. Can't even get a, uh, a chest open now. 14 more baddies, though, and it should be all done. It was uh, excessively easy. Am I playing on Nightmare, or did I mess up? Yeah, I'm on Nightmare. It's just a uh, very easy map. Five baddies left. I'll come give uh, give those archers a little assist. And just one more. And there it is. Also, it would be fun to spread archers across this this whole platform up here. They would just completely tear stuff up. In fact, you could go eight archers right across here instead of doing four and four, and it would probably put on quite the show. But uh, anyway, there is one more nightmare strategy for Dungeon Defenders Eternity. Thanks for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon for some more DDE. Thanks again. Thank you.